Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Revitalising Villa. This is episode 13. Unlucky for some, and no I'm not, not uploading or recording this on a Friday. I ain't stupid, didn't plan it, but I ain't stupid. Today we have two massive league games. Honestly, these are two games that could make or break this season. They are that huge games. There's a reason why they're huge games, and to find out why... We need to look at our last few fixtures. So, of course, in that last episode, it was that great, great victory over Birmingham City. I mean, look at that smile. Look at it. Very happy to be Blues. A disappointing loss to Fulham. At the time, I wasn't really worried about this result. I thought Fulham were a good side or a decent side. It's no shame in losing to Fulham, but they shouldn't really worry us going into the end of the season. These are the games that I played off camera and we followed the Fulham loss with a good home win against Preston. A 2-0 win, Burke could be honest from the spot and Scott Hogan getting a goal. The game was wrapped up at half time, it was very good to see. We were comfortable, Scott Hogan put in a great performance, very happy days and I thought let's take that on, let's do something. And then Sheffield bloody Wednesday. I mean this was the most frustrating result I've had all season because I don't know what it was, the players just didn't turn up, we had a couple of injuries too. Two goals from Stephen Fletcher, one after three minutes and one in added time at the end of the game. I mean, it's it's just, we didn't play well, we were dominated, it was it was an awful, awful performance. And it had its effects too, I'll get to that in a second. We did bounce back though, a forward win over QPR, a really, really good day at Villa Park. So, we're, our form's are literally up and down, I mean up, down, up, down, up, you know. A good performance against QPR. El Mohamedy scored from a cross, which was nice to see. Baptiste's own goal. Two lucky goals. We were 2-0 up after 53 minutes. Jack Grealish got a goal, which is nice. Always nice to see Jack get a goal. And then Fede Varela scored a penalty. We scored a penalty. Fede Varela. I mean, it's... it's The season's done. I don't need anything else. Fede Varela's actually scored a penalty. I wonder if there's actually something you could check that says about the missed penalties you have during the season because we have missed a few of them. If anybody knows, let me know in the comment section because I'd love to see that. But a good win against QPR meant we were back on form. The league table though, yeah, we've bottled it. Yeah, we're no longer top. We joined top. We're losing on goal difference to Middlesbrough who have got 12 more goals than us so that's gonna be hard to catch. 72 points each. Fulham, I literally said in the last episode, I'm pretty sure I said, Fulham aren't going to be a title challenger. Well, yeah, 70 points, two points different. It's a three horse race at the moment. I wouldn't rule Wolves out either because they're on 69. <sighs> First game of today's episode then is away at Sunderland. I'm just sort of getting to the game. I came in a bit early. But Sunderland, of course, we absolutely destroyed them at Villa Park earlier this season, if you remember. So they'll be looking for revenge. I'm a bit I'm a bit worried about going into this one, to be honest with you. Sunderland are in fifth, and you may have just caught it there at the end there. The second game of the episode is against Wolves, who are in fourth, as I say, possible title challenger as well now. It's it's two huge games. If we lose both of these, our season is in tatters. If we win both of these, we're in a great position. I would take four points from here. I don't want to lose one. I just don't want to lose one. Two draws is no good to me as well, by the way. That's just no good to me at all. Sunderland actually come into this with one win in their last five games. So they're not in the greatest of form, which is a bit weird for a side in the playoffs. Of course, they were title challengers a, a long way ago into the season now, it feels like. And we derailed that with that 5-1 loss. So they will be looking for revenge. I'll tell you that much now. Today's team then, and there's probably a few names you weren't expecting to start this sort of game actually. We'll start in goal, Sam Johnston is back, now officially a permanent Aston Villa player of course. Good to see him back between the sticks and he will be staying in that position of course. El Mohamedy on the right wing back after he got a goal in the last one, you can't, can't take him out can you, you just can't do it. It's the two Johns at centre back, Sutar partners Terry. James Chester has dropped out for a bit and John Terry's come in, he, he did well against QPR so... We'll keep that, no problem. Neil Taylor at left back. I'm, I'm playing him ahead of Brian at the moment, getting him some game time because he's, he's whinged a bit. So he's a decent player though, I can't complain. He plays Glenn Whelan, box-to-box -box midfielder. And Jake Doyle Hayes is the Mazala today. The youngster, when he's come in, he's done well for us. He played against QPR after returning from injury. He did well then. 
you know what? I'm going to give him another go. Why not at this point? We've got Albert Adoma on the right. Varela plays off Kodja. Yes, Fede Varela, the goal-scoring Portuguese little man. He got a goal. He played very well. He had a man of the match performance. He plays. He plays behind Kodja. The left side is a problem for me at the moment. Andre Green isn't really playing very well. I've got Snodgrass who can play that or Jack Grealish. Grealish got a goal though. Grealish plays. On the bench, the returning Lise Mousset. He came off the bench against QPR to get a bit of minutes under his belt. It's good to see him back. The, obviously, the man we got on loan from Bournemouth after all our strikers were suddenly injured. To be honest with you, I think he's a very good striker, especially for this level, and he will score goals. Kodja is the man up front, though. King Kodja, you can't take him out. Sunderland, bring it on. I don't like Sunderland's kit on his... That's a bad throw, though. Wait, wait a minute. Kodja's cross. McNair hacks it away. Sunderland's kit with these green around the circle. I'm not... I don't like it. I'm not happy with that. I'm not having it. Adoma's going on a run on the right. McGeady's going to win it back though. And this might be a Sunderland highlight here. Graben's onto it. Lewis Graben, a deadly championship scorer. A Villa player now in real life, by the way. Duncan Watmore's in for Sunderland. And Sam Johnson makes a save at the near post. What a signing that could be, by the way. Lewis Graben on loan from Bournemouth in real life. A corner is swung in. I need to stop talking. Matthews. Parr. Sutar. Maybe Villa can break here. Sutar looking for Adoma. Not happening. Not happening. I say I need to stop talking. It's kind of what this video is about. I don't know what I'm, I, I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. They're throwing on the left. Then it's towards Ndong, Masunda, the Chelsea loney, of course. Part to McGeady. He's got a bit of space. Masunda on the edge of the box finds the back of the net. And ten minutes in at the stadium, alive. It's Sunderland one. Ah, just kind of bit my own cheek there. That was a bit nasty. It's it's one nil. McGeady to Masunda. Good finish. Good finish, Charlie Masunda. Okay. Taylor's throw for Villa on the left. Varela needs to get into the game and needs to be getting some results. That's a bad pass from Whelan. It's a slack pass. Can't be having games like that. Not today. Not today. Doyle Hayes now. He's going the wrong way, but you know what? He hasn't given the ball away. That's something. Johnson's long kick is, is just to no one, really. And this might be a Sunderland attack. Duncan Watmore. Sutar with a great interception from the young centre-back. He really has grown strong over the last few games. Galloway gets in there. Neither side wants to come forward, but here do come Sunderland. Rodwell into Masunda again. He's in again. And Johnston with a cracking save at the near post. They're getting way too many chances at the moment. Way too many chances. What more? Oh, it's another corner. It's another one. Don't let him have a third highlight. This is this is dangerous and grabbing heads wide. Hmm. Glenn Whelan is having a shocker in midfield. Just saying. And Sunderland fly forward again. Masunda, he's the man to mark. McGeady's in and Johnston makes the save. This is getting ridiculous. We're 15 minutes into the game. Right, Glenn Whelan, drop yourself back. Mazala as well, Doyle Hayes, drop yourself back. You think you can't play there, but you are. You are playing there. End of story. Oh no, 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 no. It's a proper childish tantrum. Jonathan Codge is injured. Well, Lise Mousset gets, gets into the game earlier than I was thinking. That's not good. Birmingham are 2 0 up at Middlesbrough. Birmingham are 2 0 up at Middlesbrough. Hold up. I mean, I know we're losing, so it makes no difference, but are Birmingham doing us a favour? What? It's a Sunderland corner. Grealish hacks away at the near post. Masonda's there, though. He's really running us ragged, and Galloway makes it too. Oh. <laughs> Does it matter? Does it matter if Mill... Oh. I'm, I'm knocking everything over. I don't even want to watch the replay. We have been utterly awful today, you know. You know what? We're going back on attacking. And we are getting more direct again. We're going back to what what worked against them last time, I think. El Mahamedy wins the header, though. And Grealish. Jack Grealish. Oh, is it the post? It's been touched onto the post by Ru Reuter. Reuter? Hmm, not the European news gathering service. Fede Varela now, Doyle Hayes with space. Jake Doyle Hayes, what you got? It was a decent pass and Grealish just sort of stopped. I mean, it was a decent ball in, you know. I'm not having that. I'm not blaming the youngster there. And Dong now, we're getting overrun in midfield. Graben, Lewis Graben, 
Great tackle from Doyle Hayes. Jake Doyle Hayes, you little legend. And Adoma flies forward for Aston Villa now. He's all on his own with two men near him. He goes back into Varela. Great ball by Doyle Hayes. Grealish across. Lise Mousset. What a goal. What? A, what I mean... Jake Doyle Hayes, you absolute legend. This was all about him. He won it back in the first place with a wonderful tackle. And look at this pass. Picks out Grealish, and Grealish is unselfish. And it's Lise Mousset. Yes. Yes. I'm so happy to see Jake Doyle Hayes just sort of dominating the game at the moment for that last five minutes or so. We played better since the changes, though, so that works. Oh, I was going to say I need to mess with the opposition instructions in the second half and get Charlie Muss under marked and closed down, but he already is. Oh no. Big 45 minutes here. Big, big 45 minutes. Alright, Sunderland throw on the right. Here's Watmore. Matthews with a bit of space. He swung across in, but Villa should be able to clear. Oh, that's dangerous. Taylor, that is dangerous. We come forward, though. Adoma looking over the top. Lee Smith has got some pace about him, but Jack Rodwell does very well, actually, to intercept that. And Lewis Graben. Has got the beating of Terry, you would think. What more can't get anything with it, though, for Sunderland. And Grealish is going the wrong way, to say the least. Sam Johnston now. He's got a lot of space. He picks out Taylor on the left. Can, I mean, that's woeful. That is woeful. What is that about? Is that the direct passing? That's not direct passing, is it? Graben's in for Sunderland. And Lewis Graben has probably finished this game off. And I have to question what the hell is going on there. I've noticed this season, when we're good, we're very good. But when we are bad, we are woeful. And that was that was non-league level of woeful. I mean, what's Neil Taylor's pass about? Let's 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 just get it off direct passing now, straight away. Whack it back on shorter. <laughs> just just ugh. We're on play out of defence, by the way. Look for the midfielders is the is the option, is the idea. And, and Neil Taylor thinks, I know what I'll do. I'll thump it to their left back. See if he can control it as well as I supposedly can. Bloody Neil Taylor. I'm going to get Snodgrass on for a domer as an inside forward. I don't think it'll make too much of a difference. We've we've not played badly, but... Well, no, we have. We have. We have. Still 10 minutes to go. And Snodgrass now can find Grealish. Can we get anything from this? Fede Varela, he's got pace. He's done well. He should cross the ball there, though. Come on, Fede. Cross the bloody ball. Portuguese little man. Portuguese little twat, more like. <sighs> right, let's break then. Let's not break then. Oh, my God. This is horrific. That would... I... I uh... One ball. Right then, Grealish. He's, he's coming forward. Lee Smooth with it. <laughs> Graben's got loads of space. It's going to be four. They're getting there. He should have crossed it. He should have crossed it. I mean, definitely should have crossed it. Lee Smooth flying forward. He's played well, Mousset, since coming on. I've got to tell you. Good cross in. Oh, what a chance. Jake Doyle Hayes, that was as well. Oh, Hurahan has showed Rod well. It was a free kick. I take it all back. And that's the full time whistle then. Sunderland 3, Aston Villa 1. <laughs> it's done wonders for the league table, as you can see. Wolves are now level on point with us, and Fulham are a point ahead of us. It's very tight at the top. Well then, um, first game down. Didn't really go how I thought it would. It means that Wolves is now a must-win game. They're level on points with us. If they go three points ahead at this stage of the season, we're in March. We're in March. Oh, God. It's 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 not good. It's very much not good. I think one of the biggest problems I've got with this side at the moment is that we are not difficult to beat. All the best teams are hard to beat, and if they're not playing well, they'll get a draw. If we're not playing well, we will lose the game. That's our biggest problem at the moment. When we're coming up against pretty good sides in the league, the likes of Wolves, Sunderland, Middlesbrough, Fulham, the title challengers, the, the, the size that we need to beat to win the league, we're not beating. And that's our biggest problem. Hopefully we can we can put that right today. We can beat Burton, we can beat QPR, we can beat the sides right down there. We need to beat the sides near us to stand any chance now of getting not just a title, but automatic promotion at this point. We're at the automatic promotion places and that's what hurts. That is what hurts. Before the big game against Wolves, I've just nicked their under-18s coach. He's now my under-23s coach. You may have heard of him, you know, the former Aston Villa striker, Darius Vassal. 
20 grand in compensation, but I don't care. I'm bringing a former legend back home. Happy days. And after that disappointing Sunderland loss, we're going to ring a couple more changes. Johnson keeps his place in goal. Al Mohamedy keeps his place on the right. So do the two Johns. Why not? It wasn't really a defensive shambolic performance. Neil Taylor drops out. I mean, that like rugby kick. I know he's Welsh and that. No, not having it. Joe Bryan comes back in. Bjarnason instead of Glenn Whelan, who just couldn't seem to pass a ball. Dull Hayes keeps his place. I was happy with Dull Hayes' performance. He keeps his place. Adoma keeps his place on the right. Snodgrass in for Varela. Grealish on the left. And Musa instead of Kodja. He can't really play complete forward very well. I'm going to play him as an advanced forward, I think, for this game. Let's see how that works. Why not? You may have noticed most of my tactical decisions always have the reasoning of why not? It's not the smartest way to manage a football team. It's a great way to go through life though, isn't it? Feels like a huge, huge game this, and it's probably because it is a huge, huge game. We need to perform. We can we can save our season here with one great result. If not, we, we could scupper down into the playoffs. And I don't fancy our chances in the playoffs. And Premier League football seems far, far away once you're in those playoffs. I've got to be honest with you. Ah, so as I was making sort of tactical changes, we, we've scored. We've scored. Let's, I'm seeing this for the first time. Brian's cross, Adoma's header. Boom. Boom. Joe Brian gets the assist. 1-0. What I've actually done is brought the two wingers back a little bit because we were struggling in midfield. Silver's shot. That's a bit wide. Silver. He's done it again. It's Diego Yota. They've done it again. They've done it to me again. We're leading the game, though. I didn't see it. Maybe I should just... Just... Just stay on tactics all game. It's going to be a slow watch, but it worked. Okay, the first half flies through. No chances since the goal. I'm pretty happy with this. We've had more shots, more on target. This has been a pretty good first half. For the record, let's see what happens if results stay the same. Dun da da dun 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 I mean, it's not going to stay the same. Other results. Uh, Middlesbrough are still drawing with Barnsley. That's not going to stay the same. And how are Fulham getting on? Anyone see a Fulham? Fulham losing to Preston. Bloody hell, Preston. Callum Robinson, an ex-Villa man. He's, he's doing us a job, I tell you. He's doing us a job. Big 45 minutes. Can the boys hang on and possibly get a second goal? Wolves are a very strong squad across the middle. They will come out fighting in the second half. They all want the league title as well. Bonatini. Gum, gumni? Gumni? Gummy? Gum, that's that's a horrible name. Bonatini into, into Diego Yota. Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. Just like that. Two minutes. We didn't last two minutes. You can make all, all, all the jokes you want about lasting two minutes, but this 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 is not good. And I... He's a defensive midfielder. What's he even doing there? Maybe Connor Hurahan playing behind the striker might be a smart move at the moment. I'm doing it. What happened there, by the way? Whoa! Whoa! They've hit the post, and I mean, I mean, they're coming forward again, and they've headed it over. It's Godos. They are. They they're dominating the game at the moment, and for that reason, and that reason only, I'm gonna just whack it on counter, because I can see us getting overrun a little bit. We're getting more shots in though in this game for some reason, but we we're not making them count at the moment. Ruben Neves. He's a good player, Ruben Neves, in the midfield. Very good player. Jealous that they've got him, I've got to be honest with you. Hintasia, the defence didn't really attack it. And Alfred and Die. Alfred and Die. Alfred and Die. Seriously? He scored two. The defensive midfielder. Is that the same? I'm pretty sure it's Alfred and Die. The, the same defender. Dif can't get my words out. He's, he's done me. He's done me in. The same defensive midfielder that, that struggled at Sunderland. Probably need to go a bit more direct, but no, no, because because they'll just they'll just hoof it like they're playing rugby. We've made shots, we've made chances, but for some reason, we haven't made good chances. Ten minutes to go. I'd take a draw now. Of course I would. Of course I would. Preston have gone 2-0 up against Fulham. <sighs> Birmingham did us a job against Mid Middlesbrough last game. Preston are doing us a job against Fulham now. Barnsley have missed a penalty away at Borough. We have lost, surely, now at home to... Oh, even Sunderland have lost. Even Sunderland have lost. It's Wolves who are the big winner in this game, I tell you. There's three. Yeah. Fulham have equalised. Did I see Fulham have equalised? Oh, my God. I'm not going to look at the replay. I'm just going to look at this. So, from half-time, two points ahead at the top. 
to full time, three points off the top, still stuck in force. Yeah, we've had more shots, more on target. Don't want to say I've been FM'd, because I haven't really, it's a 3 1 loss, but. Hmm, I did say I'd take four points, we could, I just didn't want to lose both games. We've lost both games. The title is well out of our hands. Automatic promotion. Oh, it's, it's very tight. There's a lot to play for in this season. One thing I haven't mentioned, by the way, um, during the whole of this. You see this? You see this? Yeah, that face paint. The, the wall paint. Your fault. Just saying. Join us next time. If we can get back into this title challenge, it's, it's the only way to find out is by joining us next time. If you enjoyed this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment. Until next time, from me to you, goodbye.